guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is our review of the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. We will have two looks. We're both wearing it again today. We filmed this on a separate day as per like always. <laughs> um, and they're kind of similar, but it's it's the glam palette. The glam so palette. you're we'll gonna get, get a cool tone neutral look. <laughs> yeah, so we will get into our thoughts at the end of the video. Um, but <laughs> if you're interested in seeing, you know, our looks and our thoughts on the palette, then just keep on watching. So first I'm going in with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and priming my eyelids with that and then I'm going in with the shade Transition and putting that kind of in my crease more towards the inner corner. And then I'm going in with a mix of the shade Crease and Smoke to kind of cool it down a little bit and starting to sketch out like my outer V. And then I'm going in with the shade Outer Eyelid and putting that pretty much where I put the crease and smoke color. I'm just kind of giving myself a shimmery outer corner. And then on the lid I'm going in with the shade Inner Corner which is like a warm toned silver shade and placing that all over my lid. Then taking lash line and smoking out the lash line and kind of running that under my lower lash line as well. And for the inner corner I'm using the shade Inner Corner and here's the completed look. Alright, so tapping out the creases in my eyelid primer, I'm going in with the shade Lash Line, which is the deepest matte in here, and putting that on my outer corner in a wing shape and bringing that in kind of in a cut crease kind of motion. Um, and then I will go into the shade uh, Crease to blend that out further, and after that, going into the shade Transition, which is the lightest matte in here, and blending that up even further. Uh, for my mobile lid, I put um, Outer Eyelid on the top row, on my lid which is just the most gorgeous color i did add a bit of center eyelid from the second row because that one is also equally as beautiful <laughs> and then for my inner corner i went in with inner corner <laughs> which is a very fitting name and i popped that on there it's a really pretty color and then i lined my lash line with the sigma wicked black gel liner you can use code twin 10 to save 10 percent off um it's my favorite black liner I'm putting that in the water line as well and then i'm blending that out further with lash line yet again um, and then I will blend lash line out with crease again, the same mats. And then on my inner corner, I went in with center eyelid, which is that nice little pop of gold. Um, and I decided to put that on my inner corner as well. But yeah, that is all for the look. So yeah, there you have it. Okay, so thoughts. Um, I love this palette. It's I, fantastic. I do. It's gorgeous. The shimmers are beautiful. A couple of them look similar, but not too similar. In they my have opinion. very different undertones. Like there's a silver, and, and then a there's warm a, silver. a warm silver. It's very strange, but it's really, really, really cool, and it makes for a lot of like diversity in the cool tone looks. I mean, everything is gonna turn out relatively similar if you mm -hmm. do deepest matte on the outer corner, shimmer on the lid, kind of thing. Um, but the tones in here are just lovely, and the formula is fantastic, just like all of them. I do wish that. There was like one really icy, sparkly kind of topper shade. I think mm -hmm. that would have made the palette. And one more deep matte um, would have just been fantastic in my opinion. But I have those things, so it's not a big deal for me to incorporate those into a look. I just think for people who don't have maybe a, lar a, a large collection like we do and they just like neutrals, um, I think it might be more convenient if they had one more deep matte and a really fun like shimmer topper kind of thing. But... That's just my preference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, overall, this to me is probably one of my favorite Natasha palettes to date because we've been waiting for some cool tones because yeah. all of her palettes are so heavy on the warm tones and we really, really enjoy cool tones. So, um, I was so excited to get this. Um, I will insert some pictures that I took of the palette because with our lighting, it can get kind of washed out. So, that way you can see it in true, like, lighting. Um, and in my opinion, yeah, it could have some deeper matte so I would have preferred if they maybe took out that um this cooler tone kind of gold shade in here and put in a deeper matte um that's just my opinion because of how I feel it should work on all skin tones. on all skin tones um we will link um videos that we can find I did see one video of a girl with pretty deep skin using this palette um she really liked the look she came up with could they be any louder mm. upstairs <sighs> Um, she really liked the look she came up with, and I agree. I thought she looked gorgeous in the looks. Um, there were a couple snide comments about it, about it, but 
she made a point saying, you know, everybody says that black women can't wear, or black people, I guess, um, can't wear cool tones. And she said, because it looks ashy. And she's like, well, it's a cool tone. Like, <laughs> that's partially the goal of a cool tone. It's going to, it's an ashy tone. Yeah. So I understand people's gripe with this palette. And I agree wholeheartedly. There could be some more work to be done with this. But overall, I think this is just such a stunning palette. And I just really like it. Um, so any videos we can find, we will link down below for anybody deeper than us so hopefully you guys can get a better feel for if this is the palette for you or not if you love cool tones you will love this if you hate cool tones you probably, probably won't like it. this um there's just a couple neutral, neutral to kind of warmish brown, yeah. tones in here so um that's kind of <laughs> what you have to work around but overall i think this is one of my favorite natasha palettes Jeez, I have hiccups that she released. I think if you have Safari, this would pair beautifully, beautifully. with the cooler toned mattes in there. It would be amazing. So. It looks like a good addition to Biba, too. Mm -hmm. We don't have Biba, so I don't know, but you can't really go wrong with cool tone neutrals. And you have a black in Biba, so. Yeah. But oh, did not appreciate. Yes. I forgot to mention. The, the names were a big gripe in this palette. Oh, yes. So they're named like uh, Center Eyelid, Outer Eyelid, Inner Corner, Crease, Transition. Obviously, that's not inclusive of everybody, um, and they're kind of lazy in names, in my opinion. Nada <laughs> Natasha did come out with an explanation for that. She said, uh, because of these little holes in the back, you are allowed, or you're supposed to basically pop out the shadows and rearrange it so you can put your transi transition there, your center eyelid shade there. Um, I don't know if that was just a lazy way of... Uh, avoiding the the criticism she was getting uh or if that's actually what her intention was due to her she's been pretty vocal about rearranging her palettes mm -hmm. and she posts on her instagram like pictures of rearranged palettes too um so it wouldn't shock me if that was truthful but i do still think the shade names like should are have lacking. been something different should have been something fun like i don't know glacier or mid-tone brown <laughs> well, like, literally anything you could have been lazy and been like Warm silver, silver, cool tone, deep brown, mid tone brown. <laughs> Anything that wasn't crease, transition, that kind of thing. It's a little weird, but I just wanted to mention that. But anyway, that, that's <laughs> kind of our thoughts on this palette. Um, let us know if you picked it up, your thoughts about it. Let us know how you felt about the looks. I think that they are some gorgeous, gorgeous shadows, and I think they will pair beautifully with other palettes in our collection. Um, we love cool tones. We will continue to love cool tones, but if you're a warm tone lover, you can pass on this. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment down below uh, anything you have to say. Also, uh, it will be linked in the description below via Magic Link. So if you do purchase it from us, we will get a commission. Get a commission. So please go through that link if you so desire. We love you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Bye. Bye.